Happy Easter, Rays of Sunshine. Let's open some Easter eggs and check out what's new to Evergreen Art Dolls. All right, y'all, so I brought out the silicone so that you guys can have a better look and be able to see their movements and just all of their cuteness just in better detail. So these are the newest little Navi Inspire babies. I named the sculpt Naka and these were sculpted by the very, very talented, wonderfully made by Nay and her have been in contact for a while and I love to commission her to do sculpts because as I said before, I don't have a lot of time to sculpt right now, but I hope that will change in the future. So sometimes I commission some of my other their artist friends to do um, sculpts for me to reproduce in silicone and this is one of them and I could not be happier. Nay is an amazing sculptor and she loves what she does. She's all the way in Alaska so um, and she has her own things going on but I know that she really loves to sculpt and so she has a lot of fun um, creating these little cuties that I then bring to life with um, I made their mold and um, yeah I started to make these little cuties so I'm really excited about them they are just so adorable I definitely have to okay all of these have been sold these four have been sold but I still wanted to show them to you guys before I package them up and send them on their way to their new homes but yeah I definitely have to make one for myself I was really really tempted to keep one of these two but then they sold so I was like okay I'll just let y'all go to new homes but I definitely need to um to make me one so and I think my favorite is the green ones no surprise <laughs> there I mean um evergreen art dolls but anyways um I know the blue ones are probably going to be the most popular just because of the movie and everything and all of the colors are just super adorable but yeah I think the green ones are for sure my favorite right now but yeah they can just they just snuggle in your hand so nicely and would make amazing just little like pocket pals little dollies to take um, on travels and things immediate stress relief so Yep, this is a baby. So, and their cute little butts are super cute. And they do have a tail, movable tail. So, I really love that. And with the future ones that I make, I might end up putting like a tuft of hair um, at the end of the tail and like a mohawk situation um, in the future on some of them just so that they'll look more like the Navis. Um, from the actual avatar movie but I don't know I really also just like them bald and without that um, hair because it just it just makes them like that same kind of feel and texture all around and you don't have to worry about that like falling out or anything like that they do have open mouths for a bottle or passy but yeah this is a blue one giving y'all just a really good look at all their details and they do glow in the dark um i will figure out my phone so that i can take pictures um to show y'all like in a future video or on my instagram or something um their glow in the dark feature but yeah there's the blue one close up of the green one and now i'm just going to show y'all just some of the movement of them just play with them in my hand so you guys can sort of get a feel for those of you who haven't ever had a silicone or are thinking about um getting one for me or any other silicone doll artist but i want y'all just to see how very squishy and um you can't really feel how soft they are but they are really soft and i just think it's just so amazing how they move just so effortlessly in your hand and that's his tail little feet but yeah Nay did an amazing job on the sculpting of these little cutie pies and they're just they're just so sweet <laughs> um I was thinking about putting armatures in them but I just really like the feel um of silicones without armatures because they're just more squishy and yeah they won't actually hold their pose 
um, unless you're kind of just maneuvering them the right way. But um, I don't know. I might put armatures in them in the future. This is a pink one and she has open eyes. The eyes actually look a little bit yellow in the video, but they're actually green. She's a pinky girl. And like I said, they all do have open mouths. And I will be including, while supplies last, these little teeny tiny passies that um, just fit them so well. And every one of them will come with a little rattle and a bottle. That's a great size for them. But yeah, I just think it's it's just so cute with their little bottles and um, <laughs> passy. So it just adds a extra level of play with those little items. And yeah, you can have a lot of fun with them. And who doesn't like a baby, right? So this one was actually my favorite. I don't know. It reminds me of a little frog. <laughs> A little fat chunky frog but that's why um i love these so much is because of their chunky cuteness i asked nay um to when she was sculpting to just make sure that they had lots of rolls and a chunky belly and she definitely delivered with this sculpt so yeah and when i was trying to name the sculpt i don't know how i thought of naka navi for little word starts with n naka just kind of came to mind and i figured it could also be pretty gender neutral because these babies are gender neutral there's no um they're not anatomically correct or anything and um that i thought that would just be easier um so so yeah that's why we did that but yeah, so you guys saw some of the movement of the newest little additions to Evergreen Art Doll Studios. And I also wanted to, these are not new at all, these little E-Rexes, but I thought I'd just show them off as well because they are available currently in my Etsy shop. Like I said, these four babies all found homes already, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys some of the other little cuties in my shop. So while I was doing these, I also painted these. So they do glow in the dark as well. There's their spots right there and I have an open eyed and a closed eyed one so it's just so fun to see how like opening their eyes just gives them that um that much more just character and personality but they're both super super cute and just as soft also we have some other dinos still in the shop so we have these dino a so um we have a pink one and a purple one and all of these like colors are just giving me easter vibes so yeah i just thought that it was fitting to do a bunch of different fun and uh vibrant colors so we have also the geckos we have three of them currently in the shop this one is the most realistic to me, I feel like, like a, kind of a al albino type gecko, but I just love them. They're also super, super cute. Blue one. And then I'm surprised this one hasn't um, been adopted or grabbed up yet. This little uh, black and white one, I think it turned out really cool. Um, yeah, and it's definitely one of my favorites, but this little cutie is still available in the shop. And we have one of these in blue. 